All right, everybody. So these are five more kits that I am uh, breaking down and putting into a more storable, conducive way for my stuff. <laughs> uh, so we're going to unbox all these and then that'll be it for, for this video. I hope you guys get to enjoy it. I'm so glad I finally got this one. I've been waiting on this one for since like May. So I'm so glad that it finally came in. It was part of my pre-orders. <laughs> uh, so that's actually going to be the first one we open up. Because I have yet to, to really see this one. I saw somebody finish it in the Craftably Facebook group. But man, I want to see it for myself. So... And this is called The Last Fairy from Warm Tail. Um, it is a 28 by 20 round. All right. All right, so just like with most cra all craftably kits, we have to cut this tape. Um... I really, I really hope Craftably is able to get through. For those of you that don't know, uh, Craftably, um, the week that I'm recording this, has announced that they're, they're struggling very, very heavily because of the massive delays their pre-orders had and the lack of sales. Um, and uh, so I'm really hoping they're able to get through this tough time and keep producing kits because... I like the kits they produce. It offers a nice variety in difference than uh, some of the other companies have. And oh my goodness, I am so glad I ordered this. I am loving all the blues and the purples. Oh yeah. Then we have our sticker sheet. It has 61 colors, 3 rhinestones, and 5 ABs. Oh my goodness, this I think is going to be gorgeous. And then this is our lovely color palette that we have here. And we have our rhinestones over here. And I'm pretty sure our ABs are mixed in here somewhere. <laughs> Alright, let's roll this backwards so we can actually see. All right. All right, so this is the last fairy. I think this is a very beautiful picture. Very beautiful. And I can't wait to work on it eventually. It'll get there. It'll stay in my stash and I will work on it. On to the next one. Alright, so for this one we have Crimson Oracle by Warmtail. It is a 28 by 20 or 20 by 28 round. And this one just looks so freaking awesome. I am excited for this one. Oh. the toolkits inside the bag. That's a that's a first. I haven't seen that one. Okay, so I'm pretty sure some people are like, well, why are you doing this? And my answer is very simple. Um, if you watched my stash video that I posted last week, um, or maybe the week before, the time you see this, but uh, I have over 500 different pictures. That's a lot of boxes to maintain and keep up with. So I have found that for me, it is easier to reduce uh, the number of boxes I have 
and store my canvases all in a stack. And then I have a uh, large box that I store all the drills in. Oh my goodness. Now this freaking tape doesn't want to come off the canvas. It ripped and now it doesn't want to come. There we go. So I found I find it much easier if I um if I reduce the the can the kits that are small enough to do it. If I break down their boxes, unroll them and stack them in a stack and put their drills in a uh, a large box all together then it takes up so much less space than individual boxes so this is crimson oracle and what i'm going to do is i'm actually just going to slide everything out and then we're going to roll it backwards So because this is a uh, poured glue, all these are poured glue canvases, I can roll it backwards. If you do not have a poured glue canvas, do not do this. You will destroy your canvas. All right. I think I got it upside down. Okay, here we go. So this is Crimson Oracle, which I just absolutely love. I think it is a gorgeous picture. There we go. I think I, I love this picture and it looks like a lot of our, our rhinestones are going to be going up through the blue and some of the A and the, the ABs are going to be all through her outfit. Oh, this is going to be pretty. So this is the color palette a lot of some dark colors but also some really bright nice colors mixed in i love it i love it i am a sucker for a pretty color palette oh well, what i consider a pretty color palette uh it has 58 colors two rhinestones and six ab's yeah six ab's so it's got a lot of ab's going on in there you got a lot of stuff and so this is Howling Wolf. And uh, this is a 20 by 28. And this is actually a square. Um, all of the other kits that we've opened so far have been uh, rounds. <laughs> but this one is a square. This must have been a, a different way they were trying to package things. Because they included the toolkit in the bag in this one too. All right. Which end do I need to open? Here it is. All the toolkits. Drills. Oh, glorious drills. I love the color of the drills. Uh, why doesn't it want to come off? I've never had this much of an issue getting the freaking tape off of one of their kits. The tape does not want to come off. Alright, so. We have our glorious, lovely color palette. Which I really do. I like the colors. I, I actually need to do one of their kits in squares. Oh man, this is going to be confetti heaven. Confetti heaven, everybody. This is going to be so much fun. Because I love confetti. I love working with confetti. Confetti is like so much fun. Oh, and the wolf is so pretty. 
Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness, the amount of confetti that's going to be in this. Oh, I can't wait. It'll have to wait, though. I have other projects that I have scheduled to work on. I can't ever say I don't have a picture to work on. I definitely have enough pictures to work on. And if I ever get bored of a picture, I definitely have others I can choose from. But this is Howling Wolf. Uh, who is the artist? The artist is Lynn Bean. This one, this one was kind of one of those pictures that I got and I had to look at it for like a week before I was like, yeah, yeah, I think, I think I'm going to get that one. But uh, it's so outside of my normal style. This is Moonbeam by Melina Stimo. Uh, it is a 30 by 20. And this is, this is definitely a picture that's outside of my usual repertoire that I uh, actively go for. Um, I, I think, I think for me, it's the combination of all the different colors. Let's go ahead and open this up. Let's go ahead and cut the tape off. Maybe this time it won't freaking fight me the whole way. Yes. That, that tape came off easily. Alright, so we're going to pull out the drills. And just look at that. Look at all those pretty colors. Ultimately, in the end, what finally sealed the deal for me was just looking at all the pretty butterflies and these two butterflies right here. These two right here were the determining factor. I just loved how they brought the whole picture together. And I think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous picture. So let's go ahead and roll it back so that we can all see it. All right. Everybody ready to see? Oh, it's even prettier in person. Oh my goodness. It does have a lot of pinks in it that isn't usually my thing, but I think it's just going to bring the whole picture together. I love it. I am so glad that I got it. Ah! Yay. That's the wrong sticker sheet. Uh, this sticker sheet. No, that's the wrong sticker sheet. Where the hell did the sticker sheet for this one go? I took it out. No? Found it! <laughs> Alright, so here's our sticker sheet. We have 61 colors. We have two rhinestones and six ABs. And, oh my goodness, I think this is going to be gorgeous. It looks like the ABs are in the green and some of the tans and some of the these the roses down here and it looks like some of the rhinestones are in some of the purples and through the reds. This is gonna be so pretty. Oh I'm so excited. Oh and this is the round too. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. This is Moonbeam, and this is definitely a lot prettier, a lot prettier than I thought it was actually going to be, and I love it. Next we go. All right, and our final one. Our final one is Mittens, Destroyer of Worlds. And Mittens, Destroyer of Worlds is an 18 by 24, and it is a round. And it is just a cute picture. I love it. There we go. Got it. I really wish they would stop putting the tape on the canvases. Um, I don't see the point, but that's just their manufacturing process. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna roll this backwards as well. Everybody ready? Are you ready for this? This is Mittens Destroyer of Worlds. 
It's such a cute little cat. And it reminds me. It reminds me of one of the ladies in my Discord. And that's one of the main reasons I got it. It's because it reminds me of her so much. Destroyer of Worlds. But I think it's going to be a gorgeous, gorgeous picture. Okay. So, we have our color palette. Which is very nice. Um... Surprisingly, it has 50 colors, it has three rhinestones, and five ABs. And I think it's going to be just absolutely gorgeous. I think this is going to be a fun one to work on. But alright everybody, that for me is it for today. I hope you enjoyed these unboxings of, uh, so I hope you enjoyed these unboxings, um, like I said before, the main reason I'm doing these is because I gotta, uh, I want to show them to you guys, but I also am redoing how I've got things organized. So when I open these up, I go ahead and just record the video. That way you guys get to see it too and get to see my first response when I open one of these up and I wasn't expecting it to look that cool. All right. So thank you everybody for being around. I hope you all had fun. Have a lovely afternoon, evening, morning, whatever it is, wherever you're at, and I'll see you next time.